moisture content in needles is a big driver about how fast and how volatile our fires will be. My name is Ben Bogeen. I am a fire behavior specialist. Behind me here is a drying oven with a bunch of samples of needles from spruce trees and pine trees. What I'm doing with these needle samples is essentially trying to figure out how much moisture is in these needles. If we have a lower foliar moisture content, much like we do in spring dip, around 85%, that means our fires are going to move a lot faster from canopy to canopy and conifer stands versus peak summer where trees start to self-regulate and we have a moisture content of 125. The interesting thing about this year is we have this prolonged drought which means our foliar moisture content is less, almost replicating spring dip because of these drought conditions that exist. But this year with the stress we have on our trees, they're producing so many more cones. And from that, it's drawing out of these needles and replacing them with starches and fats. So that resin that really crackles and pops and throws up the black smoke. So what I'm trying to do is, what do we have for foliar moisture content in here? And this is gonna be an issue that persists throughout the summer. The biggest reason I'm doing this right now is to help answer the question I always get asked of where is this fire going to be in three days, five days, a month from now. So by better understanding what's going on in these needles and what we have for moisture content, it helps me learn and explain to other people about how long is this fire going to take to grow or reach the next trigger point. That will impact evacuation orders, alerts. It all comes down to understanding what our fuels are doing out there to help us better predict where our fire is going to be as we progress through the heat of summer essentially where this fire is really wanting to move and progress across the landscape. Going through this process of learning about the moisture content in the needles, I can start to better predict and model where a fire is going to be, which helps operations in our planning committee know where do we put our resources, what do we need to bring in for resources, are we going to be stress taxed, and how long is that going to last for? 